What's up, YouTube? For today's video, we're in full Bidoof Evolution team. We've got Bidoof and we've got Bibaro, and I'll be using the Shinies and the Normals to make up a full team of four. Looking at its abilities for both these Pokemon, they're really cool. So we've got Simple, Unaware, and Moody. I'll be showcasing all three of these abilities in these battles. And if you do want to check me out on Twitch, people, this is where I do all my streams for my theme teams, Pokemon Sweep, Shiny Hunt, and all other forms of Salty Entertainment. Now, today... I've got four battles, and a lot of you expressed that you'd like to see more battles in videos. You don't mind, so I'll be trying to get as many in as I get, right? That are, you know, quality battles. So the first opponent here, this is against uh, Dylan, and we've got a Skarmory lead. And once again, if you do enjoy the theme teams and the videos, please drop a like on the video. It only takes a second, and it really does help out my channel, people. And it also helps you out, too, because you're able to see my videos more often in subscriptions. You don't have to dive into my channel and try and find the latest videos and that sort of stuff. So it's a win-win, people. Uh, also, if you enjoy, uh, drop a comment too. So we got a Skarmory lead. It's going to go for a Brave Bird. I've got a simple Bidoof. So Bidoof is actually going to get a boost by four. It's going to be a drastic boost because I've got simple. So what simple does is everything to do with uh, stat boost and drops is doubled. So say Sword Dance is normally plus two, I'll get a plus four, you know. Say uh, a Pokemon that drops my attack by one Sage and Intimidate Pokemon, well, it's going to drop by two Sage. So it's like a double-edged sword, but a very, very good ability, like low-key fire, in my opinion. So Bidoof's going to get dropped there. Not a lot I could have done. That was a Sword Dance quick attack crunch double-edged set with max health and max attack item and nature and i had the item as quick law as you got to see next pokemon is going to be another physical set this is bubaro this is definitely the best set that i've got in this team and that is saying something so i've got sword dance waterfall and strength a little bit of a, a hm slave there and i've got subject as the other move i've got the ability simple as well and I've got the item Salak Berry. So it's pretty good because it's uh, got Jolly Nature and it's actually kind of fast. Consider it's probably a little bit more faster than what you think. So I've got the Sword Dance up, a drastic boost in attack again. Very, very powerful. And I've got Max Attack and Max Speed. So that's my EV spread. And I've also got the Salak Berry there too. So normally Salak uh, Berry only gives you plus one, but this is going to give me plus two. So it's sort of like using Agility, but it's the Berry instead, which is going to be uh, very handy. So we got the Jump Up going for a Sword Dance itself. I have to attack it now so i went for strength and it just dropped drum fluff in one shot there not a bad uh, little shiny pokemon is jump off now the next pokemon to come back in here is going to be skarmory and i thought well i believe that i can outspeed this i say they've been running most of the evs in bulk here so i might be able to get away with going for a substitute i might be able to get my berry up here you know you never know so i just want to see what would uh you know with the skarmory would actually do here it does have brave bird and brave bird is going to do recoil damage so that's only going to help me out so i could probably go for a waterfall here you know at plus four that's hitting very, very hard, even with all of Skarmory's, like, really, really good bulk, you know? Um, that's what I was thinking to myself. But I was thinking, I was sort of tossing up between uh, what to do. I was like, no, what I'm going to do is just go for Waterfall, finish the Skarmory off. Because sometimes when you try and get on a lower man of health for, a, like, a pinch berry or something like that, or whatever the reason, uh, the enemy uh, can have... The enemy Pokemon can have a priority move, and then they can finish you off. Since this isn't carrying any priority, it is a little bit prone to that. So next Pokemon is going to be Tokus, and this is kind of funny because this is where I eat my words about saying getting outspeed. So Tokus does outspeed me. If I did sub down into my Salic Berry, I would have been able to outspeed that. So there you go. Sometimes it works, but sometimes it doesn't. You know what I mean? So Aurora Sphere is going to absolutely destroy my Bibarro. Um, so we got the bit off here. This is my Protect Double Edge Super Power Crunch set with Moody. Now, Moody's pretty cool. I ran the EV spread pretty bulky here, and my phone's just ringing for some reason. And uh, I'd have to just turn that one off. Sorry, people, my phone just started, like, blaring now. I have to answer that call and see. So uh, we got the uh, bit off here. This is my uh, Moody set, as I said before. And Double Edge and Super Power is going to work pretty good for coverage, you know what I'm saying? And with Moody, I can activate that with uh, Protect, so it's going to be pretty nice. So we got the Tokus actually swapping out here, and we got the Charizard uh, come in. So Charizard... Um, I could hit with a double edge. That would do some decent damage there. You know, um, it did already. So I should be able to, like, two-shot it. I was thinking here I might be able to get some more special defense boosts up or get some sort of luck. So I went for Protect and just sort of just cross your fingers and hope for the best. Moody's pretty good, but did get a bit of a nerf so you don't get, like, evasion and stuff anymore. But it's still very, very strong. Um, it's all luck-based, though. So sometimes things can go your way, and then, you know, other times things do not go your way. It's just one of those things, right? 
right. So uh, I can go for a double edge here. No point going for any of the other moves. I know that I'm going to take recall. Here comes the air slash from Charizard, and that does a lot of damage, and that is the end of my build off, unfortunately. Would have been cool, uh, but it is what it is, my friend. So next Pokemon is going to be Vibaro. I ran a choice spec set, so I've got an unaware set, and I've got Hyper Beam, Thunder, Blizzard, and Surf. So I've got... Uh, Pretty nice set here. The, the thing about a uh, normal type Pokemon, a lot of them get a lot of different like types of moves. So it was really cool. This got Thunder. So it's like, let's go for Choice Spec Thunder. That's super effective against both Tokus and Charizard. So I may as well go for it, right? And that's the end of old Charizard. So I've got Max Health and Max Special Attack Modest Nature. The only thing about here, Charizard did do a lot of damage to me, and I know that Tokus is going to be faster because I'm not running any speed EVs here, and it's going to be able to finish me off with the Air Slash there. But a pretty good effort there with a Bibaro team. I uh, nearly took it out. I'd say I would have won that battle if I just kept using Substitute at the start and got the Salic Berry. I don't see the opponent actually be able to live any of my moves or outspeed me, but uh, it is what it is, my friends. Let's get on to battle number two here. Uh, this is a battle against Blockhead, and I think this one might have been a a 4v4 battle too like I had a couple of 4v battles a 4v4 battles and then I had a couple of like 4v6 battles so the first Pokemon we got here is going to be Empoleon. Now, once again, if you do see a particular theme team and you think you know what it is, leave it below in the comment section of the video. So we got, uh, how do I say this? Napola... Uh, I'm not even going to say that. So I, I can't even say that name. I'm terrible at pronouncing. Uh, so I'm going to go for Protect on the bit off here, trying to get a, uh, a Moody Boost. Here comes Hydro Pump. And I'm very, very happy that I went for Protect first time. So Moody's going to kick in and it's going to give me a Special Attack Rise, which is pretty much useless, and I get a defense drop. So I'm like, okay, it's not bad. I got a defense drop. Um, I'm going to say this again. Napoleon, not Polyanita. I think I said that right. So I can go for Super Power here. That'd be cool. The only thing about Super Power is it's kind of bad is you can obviously have your stat drop. Uh, the Hydro Pump misses, which is very, very lucky. Look at the sweet damage that Super Power did. Like, I was very, very happy about that. Super happy. So now I'm going to get a Moody Boost right here, and that's going to make my special defense... R by one, which is going to be good against those hydro pumps. And I get a special attack drop. So I'm like, okay, that's pretty good, actually. Like, that's a, that's a drop I can do. So it's like, well, let's see what I can get from another one. I may as well go for it. The good thing about uh, Moody and you Protect is you can pretty much use Protect every single second turn and see if you can get yourself a good Moody boost or patch another bad set. So I got a speed rise there, which is virtually useless. And I got a special defense drop. So I'm like, oh, okay, so... This is going to be interesting to see how much the uh, Impolent actually does me. So I went for Super Power. I know that it's not going to take it out. Uh, here comes the Hydro Pump. Now, since I was running Max Health on Beetle, I actually take that one surprisingly well. And I'm going to eat my Citrus Berry. Oh, that's my item. I, I forgot to actually say that earlier on. So that was my uh, item there. I would have normally given it something like Everlight. But of course, Everlight's not in the game. So I pop out a Super Power here. And it took it out. I was like, what? It took it out. And it was a critical. It was like, ah, oh, that... that you know, that's the reason there. So, you know, Impolon definitely would have lived that. So, I got definitely lucky there taking Impolon out. It was pretty scary with the Hydro Bucks. So, another Moody Boost on my little bit off here. And it's going to get a Defense Rise. Like, okay, that's not too bad. And it's going to get a Special Defense uh, drop there, which is kind of funny. Next Pokemon is going to be Mattress. And that is uh, Snorlax. So, this thing, I would love to hit it with the Super Power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap in bit off number two. Because this one's got Sword Dance, Quick Attack, and Crunch, right? And double So it should be able to do a bit. And I know that I'm going to be able to outspeed now because Snorlax went for a curse. The only bad thing about curse is it is going to make Snorlax like a lot bulkier in defense. Like he got a plus one in attack and uh, speed there. Sorry, a plus one in attack and defense. Uh, I can go for Sword Dance. He can give myself a drastic boost. Like, you know what? Let's go for that. If Snorlax takes me out in one shot, it's fine. I'll bring in my other Pokemon and try and weaken it a little bit, you know? So getting that uh, drastic boost there, it's a Metrodome Snorlax. Like, oh, okay. Oh, I hope it doesn't use a bad move. And he used Aromatherapy. A soothing, you know, soothing, uh, what was it? A soothing uh, aroma wafted through the area. But uh, there was no status to heal, you know what I mean? So uh, it's going to go for another curse here. I went for uh, my attacking move there, which was Double Edge. And that did a lot of damage. Like, that did heaps. Uh, Snorlax is not going to be able to live the next attacking move here. And I can simply go for another Double Edge to take out Snorlax. That worked out really, really well, like... That thing was popping off with plus four and attack right there. I know that Snorlax got a couple of defensive boosts, but man, just a pure base power, I guess, and, and stab with a bit off, which is pretty funny. Next Pokemon is going to be uh, the Pinsir, and I was really worried about this because this can have uh, like fighting move, like close combat. And I was like, as soon as I was thinking, I was like, oh, oh I think I'm going to get destroyed here. So 
that is the end of my bit off. Now, I've got my Bibaral, like two Bibarals, obviously. I know they have a chance of living a close combat because uh, especially the Choice Specs one. I know that'll live a close combat kind of badly, but I know that it's going to live it. So we're going to bring in bit of number two in here. Let's see what we can do with this. So the Protect is going to uh, give me a... Oh, we're going to get a boost here in my attack, which is great. And we're going to have a drop in my special attack, which is perfect. You know, that was awesome. Here comes the close combat for Pinta, and Bidoff is going to get destroyed. So not a lot I could have done there either. This is uh, very, very scary. I thought to send it in because that would be good to drop its defenses too, so I could maybe take advantage of that and one-shot it. That was the idea anyway. So I'm going to swap in my Bibaral now. This is the... Uh Special that they popped the guillotine. I popped the hyper beam here, and this actually looks really, really cool. I mean, hyper beam auras, you know, has looked pretty cool in all the games. And there's no way that Pinsel will have a choice specs hyper beam after using close combat twice. I know that I would have lived a close combat there, um, you know, just for them pure bolt. Next Pokemon, and the last Pokemon is going to be Toxicroak. Uh, Toxicroak is going to go for a nasty plot, which is going to be pretty nasty because I am on recharge this turn. Here comes the uh, Sludge Bomb from the Toxicroak. That does a lot of damage, but like, man, I'm so bulky just due to the amount of health that I've got and the investment there. I popped another Hype Beam because I'm locked into Choice Specs, and that's going to be the end of the Toxicroak, and that's also going to be the end of the second battle. Uh, thank you for the battle uh, blockhead, and I'm, I'm glad I had some bulky, uh, some bulk invested in that special Bibarrel because... I think my other sweeping one would have definitely gone down. Uh, next battle, uh, battle number three. This one was against uh, Pulsar. And I've got my Bibarals lead. So first Pokemon is going to be Meganium. I actually am going to go for a Blizzard here, which is going to be like super, super handy. You know what I mean? And it's going to go for Ingrain. I just got to do one text message right here on the spot. Sort of, a, sort of important, you know. Uh, I'll be right there. Oh. In 15. There we go. Sorry about that, people. Just one of those important things. So we got the uh, Meganium going down to a Blizzard there. I was actually lucky to land both of them, which is great. And the next Pokemon here is going to be Ambipom. So Ambipom's going to be a shiny, and it's also going to probably destroy me. So I'm going to swap out my Bibaro there. I don't really want to be locked into Blizzard. That's kind of a gross move to be locked into. I'd like to be locked at the hype beam, you know, or something better. Uh, now we're going to have the bit of get his cheeks clapped there by Fake Out. And my Citrus Berry is going to get consumed there right on the spot. So i got to get a Moody Boost here. And I'm thinking, well, it's probably going to follow up with another normal type move, I'd, I'd say. And I'd say it's like just a technician... Uh, you know, um, Ambipom. But Ambipom swaps out. I'm like, okay, maybe it didn't have another normal type move. We'll be interested to see what this set's going to be. Now, out comes the Rotom here. This was a, uh, a pure troll set, you know what I mean? And it's going to get a, uh, a moody uh, boost again. Now, usually Rotom fan, you know, it carries something like Air Slash, you know? And I wanted to see what it actually would be. So I went for another Protector and you stun away. I'm like, okay, I know this is probably... <laughs> It's probably going to have Thunder Wave and Air Slash and just, like, to spam that, you know what I mean? Because you'll be paralyzed and there's also a chance of, you know, getting flinched too. So now it's going to go for a Thunder Wave on my Bibaro. Not my Bibaro, my Bidoof. And I, actually, I want to say one thing right now. Since we had the 4th Gen remakes, I really would have felt that they could have done something with... I don't know, like, what do you think about this, right? With the 4th um, Gen remakes and stuff, I felt like Bidoof is quite an iconic Pokemon, right? For that generation. I felt like they could have done another version or form of it or something like that. I don't know. That's just That was just me thinking that. I don't know. But I, I felt like they definitely could have done that. Uh, let's get back to the battle anyway. Just, uh, you know, musing over some of uh, thoughts there. And we've got the Rotom going for a Confuse Ray. It's a Confuse Ray Thunder Wave set. So I was like, oh, I, I was wrong. So maybe it doesn't have any attacking moves at all. So we're going to get another... Uh, uh, I nearly said we're going to get another booty here. We're going to get another moody, and I'm going to get a defense uh, drop there, and now it's going to go confused, Ray. So I'm paralyzed, and I'm confused at the same time. You know, it's it, it's not very good. I'm not going to have a very much of a chance to attack. But at least I know what this set's going to be, so I want to take this out pretty quickly. So get, uh, getting a double edge off, it was just great. Rotom almost goes down there. It was pretty close. And it's going to have the leftover recovery. So I'm like, okay, well, I did a pretty good job there. Rotom's down to a, you know, a, a manageable amount of health. So I could easy swap in one of my Pokemon. I could even swap in 
my quick attack bit off to try and take it out. It does have air slash after all that, but it doesn't take me out because I've got so much like bulk from the Moody. So that worked in really well, but then it worked out really bad because I hit myself in confusion. You know, it, it's a slow way with Pokemon. You get good luck, then you get bad luck. It, it is what it is, right? So we got some more little leftover recovery on the opposing Rotom. I have to take this out. So I was thinking to myself here, I'm pretty sure they've got bulk on this set, just like pure bulk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to risk a Sword Dance here, you know what I mean? I got a Quick Claw, and I got Sword Dance, which doesn't really, you know, that doesn't really change the battle. Or I'd like to get a Quick Claw on, like, you know, a non-priority move, something like Crunch or Double Edge, but uh, I didn't really see that one happening. So, of course, the Rotom is not going to attain me. It's definitely going to go for a Thunder Wave. I, can't, I kind of thought that was going to happen. They're just generally trying to make me salty and stuff like that, you know? It, I, I, I definitely wouldn't do that myself. So, we got this Rotom fan spamming Thunder Wave, spamming Confused Ray. I get the quick attack off and take it out. Thank goodness. I was... Really worried that I was going to get paralyzed there like a bunch of times in a row and just, you know, faint to it. Next Pokemon is going to be Ambipop. I know this thing's already got Fake Out, but I really don't know what the other moves are going to be. So here comes Fake Out. Wow, that did so much damage to me and it flinched me. And now they're going to withdraw it again. So I'm like, does this only have Fake Out? Like, what is this set? So next Pokemon is going to be the Bastodon. And Bastodon isn't actually a bad swapping for my team when you think about it. The only one that can... You know, truly do some damage or it would be my Bibarals. I mean, I did have the uh, the bit off as superpower, but that was about it, you know. There wasn't a lot. I didn't have, like, lots of options. I pretty much only had, like, one or, you know, probably two moves that could really do some damage. So I decided to go for Crunch instead because I want to try and drop its defense. You know, it's got very, very good defenses, uh, Basson. Like, but seriously, like, if you versus a Basson, right, and you don't have a super effective move, it's extremely tanky, you know? So that's going to be the end of my bit off. That was my second bit off, and it's got leftovers as the item, too. I'd say it's probably got, like, sturdy ability, too, but uh, it's not going to get a chance to use that because I'm going to try to do some damage to it. So swapping in my Bibaro right now, this is going to be my choice spec set. And we've got Bastion swapping out into Ember. I'm like, okay, well, this is an interesting swap in because I'm going to go for a choice spec surf. And Ambipom is not going to like this one little bit. I mean, is it going to take it out? No, but man, man it's going to be a two-hit K, surely. And it, it did a lot of damage. I was really happy about that. Then I thought, okay, they're going to use Fake Out again. I have to save that Bibarel for Bastion, you know, just in case. So I went into my physical uh, Bibarel set. Uh, now Ambipom is going to go for Fake Out, of course. And yeah, that's a lot of damage, you know. And now I'm going to go for Waterfall, and that's going to take it out. So that's some, like, weird... I don't know what that Ambipop set was. I only, I'm only, pretty sure I only seen Fake Out that. Maybe my opponent uh, can put in the comment section what that set was. So the last Pokemon here we got is the Bastion. I can go for Waterfall here. I was like, nah, I'm going to go for Sword Dance, then I'm going to go for Waterfall. Let's let's take this thing out, you know what I mean? I, this, it's free real estate to go for a plus four Sword Dance. Uh, now the Bastion's going to go for an Iron Head. Oof, that was really, really close there. Almost taking me out with a critical hit. And I'm going to eat my Salic Brew. And Salic is going to give me a, uh, a Shark. Upraise there, which is really, really nice. Uh, well, there's two in a plus two in our uh, speed, and uh, some more boost there from sorry, leftovers from the Bastion. I can go for a waterfall here, plus four, and that is going to do a heap of damage, taking out the Bastion. And that, my friends, is the third battle. We've got one more battle here with the Bidoff Evolution team, and you know, it was a pretty fun team to use. I, I guess the thing about it is that fighting weakness, you know, in their very, very slow sort of Pokemon to even Bibara with Jolly Nature isn't anything to write home about. So sometimes I had to rely on, you know, some priority moves and stuff like that. Uh, so we got an interesting battle here. We got a Magikarp lead. So it's like, okay, what is this going to be? So I thought about this for a bit, like, let's go for Double Edge. This is probably going to have a Focus Earth, right? And Magikarp goes for a tackle. It actually does pretty good damage, I'm not going to lie. So popping that double edge there on the Magikarp, and it's going to be our leap on the Focus app. Now, since this was my Moody set, I knew that I'd get a boost afterwards. And I actually got a really good boost. I got a defensive boost. So I'd say Magikarp is you know, most definitely going to go for a flail here. And if you have a look at the damage that I did to the... The, the, the Magikarp actually did to me, not me, did to the Magikarp. Obviously, I'm going to do lots of it. Um, look how much it... Like, look how much that did. That would have done almost taking me out there. That plus one made a massive difference. So I'm going to get my Citrus Berry here to activate. And I'm going to eat that berry. It's going to be very good. And I can finish off the Magikarp there with a crunch. Imagine eating a Magikarp. I feel like it would just be... Well, Carp are just like all skin and bone, really. That'd be, like, super disgusting. Anyway, uh, back to the battle here. I mean, Gyarados, that, that, that wouldn't be skin and bone. That'd be, that'd be some more meat on that big serpent. And the next Pokemon we got is the Z 
Zubat. So Zubat is most definitely going to be able to outspeed me. I've got Double Edge. I got some options there, so I went for Double Edge. Uh, Zubat is going to pop a Sludge Bomb, and Bit of almost goes down. It was very, very close. I'm popping my Double Edge right here. I feel like it'll almost be enough to take it out, and it was. I was like, man, that's awesome. Uh, Zubat's going to faint, but I'm going to also faint too due to the recall. This was a really, really fast, rapid-fire battle. Like, there was just like one shots going left, right, and center. So speaking of Gyarados, we got one on the field here. So Gyarados is going to be the third Pokemon, and I'm going to swap in my bit off here. Now, this bit off is the priority set. So I thought, well, I might be able to set up a, uh, you know, sword dance here and then go for quick attack, right? Because I did get intimidated. I was like, man, that's okay. I'm going to drop my attack by two stages. So let's just go for sword dance. I don't really want to swap out. Here comes a hurricane. It's a special set. And that absolutely demolished my bit off in one shot. It could even be choice specs too, which is a big, big problem. So going into Bibaro here, this one's got thunder. And I'm going to be real. If I don't take this out right this second, it's game over. Because this thing's going to be hitting very, very hard. And I don't believe I can take it out in one shot without a, you know, a, a four-time super effective move. I just lived that hurricane. It was very, very close, and I managed to land the thunder. Oh, that was so, so close. And that is going to be the Gyarados down. Once again, if I miss that, that was game over, you know? Definitely. So now there's only one more Pokemon left, and it's going to be Golbat. So it was like a magic... It was almost like a Magikarp evolution team with a Zubat evolution team, minus the... Uh, Minus the Crobat, which is the thing. Uh, now that you got the Golbat going for a Poison Fang here, and that is going to take out my Bibaro. So I've got Bibaro number two here. And this is... Oh, this is a physical set, of course. How can I forget that? Bibaro Shiny isn't all that bad, but I guess it just gets a little bit more gold out. I wouldn't charge like the greatest Shiny in the world. So Golduck, uh, Golduck. Golbat's going to get uh, hopefully hit here by a... Plus for attack, I outspeed it, which is really impressive, that Jolly Bibaro. And now Golbat's going to go for Curse. I'm like, oh, okay, it's a Curse and Poison Fang set. Maybe it's going to have something like, uh, I don't know, Roost or something like that. So something along those lines of that moveset. So I've got plus three in attack right now, because considering it uses uh, the Curse. And I'm just going to go for Waterfall right here. Oh, sorry, Strength. And I should be able to almost take it out. And I got very close. Golbat does have a fair bit of bulk to it. It's going to go for a Poison Fang there. But since I've got a uh, reasonable amount of bulk too, I'm going to be able to outspeed it and take it out the next turn with a waterfall. And that, my friends, is the battles with the Beedorf Evolution team. I really hope you enjoyed that. We've got four battles, which was really fun too. I'll be back tomorrow night with another video. And peace out, people.